Hello Beauty News family and welcome back to Beauty News. This is the 27th of July edition. Yep. And today we are talking about new stuff and updates. Yep. And I, there's a quite a lot of stuff. There's, there's a bit of stuff. There's a lot of stuff. Um, but first... I think we, we need to start with something very important. Mm-hmm. A giveaway. Oh yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so uh, Mecca approached us. We love Mecca. We're crazy Mecca fans. We've yep. been Mecca fans for years and years. If you're in Australia, you're aware of what Mecca is. Uh, it's an online store and then they've got Mecca Maxima, Mecca Cosmetica, um, mm-hmm. and that's where we both buy most of our stuff. Yeah. Um, but they approached us to say, do you want to partner together and do a giveaway? And we said, <laughs> yes. Yes, please, Mecca. So um, it is actually opening tonight. It's mm-hmm. an Instagram giveaway. So you do have to check out our Instagram account. All the details will be down below. It starts at 6 p.m. Yeah. Goes all weekend to 11.59 p.m. Sunday night. So Correct. this is for Australian and New Zealand subscribers, yes. followers, whatevs. And what do we win? So they're giving away with us yeah. the Too Faced It Just Comes Naturally collection. Mm-hmm. Now this is valued at $700. And the price consists of the matte eyeshadow palette, the Natural Eyes eyeshadow palette, Natural Face palette, 10 of the Natural Nudes Intense Color Coconut Butter Lipsticks, and four of the Chocolate Soleil bronzers. Mm-hmm. Total of 700 bucks. Massive. Massive. And they're cool products. I've got a couple of products yeah. just on my desk. I'm wearing one of the lipsticks now. Yeah. It's very comfortable. It's, it's a very, very beautiful, beautiful color. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, do check it out. It's a collection that we're interested in and yeah. we thought you guys would be interested in and uh, what a whopper of a prize. Uh, so do check that out and give it heaps of love and support. So all you need to do is follow our account, their account, uh, like the photo and also tag a friend. So it's one of those typical Instagram giveaways. Yeah. But if it's a good giveaway and people are loving it and people are entering and it's quite successful, they might be able to approach us to do another one. So yeah. send as much support as possible yes um, so it leaves us open to more opportunities like this like kat said we love mecca sometimes yeah. i look at my beauty loop spend and i'm like oh <laughs> that's where most of our money goes i'm going Absolutely. to money hell yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's really like yeah. it's it's intense so we love mecca we love to have mecca's support and we love to support mecca yeah so yeah it's definitely a love fest it is a yeah mutual love fest one of these ones one of the hearts maybe. no one of these ones <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> yeah okay cool so go check that out on instagram yeah. links and details below um aussies and new zealanders yes. we have you back kiwis we do. yeah yeah love ya all right we're starting with the biggest news of the day and this is like we've been away for a week not quite but our last beauty news episode was a week, a ago. week ago yeah. so um we've it's been good though because we got to see like the ebbs and flows yeah that this this has taken because i think it was a very passionate thing a lot of people getting very upset and then people kind of calm down and then so we've got to see sort of the conclusion of it which is great and we're talking about the beauty blender foundation that they have just released So the foundation is called Bounce. There's 32 shades available, 48, no, not 48 hour, 24 hour wear. Oh God. Uh, Velveteen matte finish, full coverage, uh, vegan and cruelty free. So it's formulated without parabens, sulfates, uh, phthalates and oils. So this sounds really cool and awesome and um, you know, it's it's big for Beauty Blender because they've previously only really done tools. Mm. Um, and this is designed, it's got glass packaging and it's got a really weird pump where yeah. if you put it put it down, it sort of acts like a dish that you can put your sponge into. Otherwise, you can put your sponge up to the side and it sort of pump it on. Pump onto it. Yeah. It's a bit awkward, but I have seen people use it just on their hand or something. Yeah. And it does work. Yeah. So this is designed purely to go with your beauty blenders. And the formula sounds amazing. It sounds like, you know, tick, 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 most things that I want. Yeah. Um, but there was a lot of controversy behind this release. Yeah. So the first part was when they showed a video um, and it showed the whole collection laid down. Um, and a lot of people pointed out that this looked like there was 50 shades of white and three shades of orange and three deep shades, essentially. Yeah. Um, Trend Mood pointed this out. Jeffree Star pointed this out. A lot of influencers pointed this yeah. out. But what it was was that Trend Mood grabbed 
a screenshot from their little promo video that had a yellow tint to it. So yeah, the whole video looked a bit... Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's like they colour corrected it to make it all look very sunshiny yeah, and yellow. Yeah, instead of like colour correcting individual parts where it yeah. needed it, they were like just, just put through a the whole thing. Over the whole thing. <laughs> yeah. So a lot of people were making big jokes about these are Oompa Loompa shades yeah, and this Donald is, Trump's foundation. Yeah, yeah, all that kind of stuff. And yeah. they were also making a big point of saying that, you know, this is not inclusive etc etc anyway then we started seeing marketing photos so we saw that pretty much the way beauty blender broke this down was that there was eight fair shades eight sort of light shades eight medium and eight deep Mm. now if you look at the photos you know there is a big variety of shades with a big variety of models including people that are a little bit more mature there are also men in the in the Um, modeling campaign for this so I think that they were definitely trying to be very 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 inclusive Um, and I think sometimes when you when people get upset at brands um, it's best to look at where their intention is coming from like Mm -hmm. they're not trying to exclude people here at all they're trying to embrace people it's just that I don't think it translated as well as they Mm -hmm. intended it to yeah I think so yeah so that that happened I personally think where Beauty Blender might have gone wrong here is that their fair and light shades and even medium shades were all very, very similar. Mm. There weren't enough fair, like fair, fair shades. And then light, medium were all just variations of very similar shades. So it looked like there was 20 shades of light and very few shades of deep. Um, Also, when they tried to break this down, so there's a lot of backlash. I wish they hadn't done this. This made me a little bit off their side. First, at first I was like, look, these are photos of bottles. Until people try them, can't really comment. And, um, And Jeffree Star was making a big point about this as well. Now with Jeffree Star, the funny thing is that in the back of my head, I keep thinking, He's a smart businessman. He's bringing out base products soon. So, of course, he's going to call out things like this because then when he brings out a collection of 50 shades, he looks like the hero. So, it's hard to... A lot of people were following that and going, okay, Jeffree Star has paved the way to trash this brand without any knowledge of what the product's actually like. Um, But what Beauty Blender did to sort of counterbalance that or to combat that was they brought out this chart, which is showing the light, the medium, the medium plus and deep shades and whether they're warm or cool or neutral undertones. And they're trying to say that they've got only six light, only (laughs) five medium and all the rest a medium plus or deep. Now, I reckon most of those medium plus are actually quite light. And that I thought that was a bit silly of them because it made them look like they were backpedaling too much. doesn't look good it really this when they did this i was like stop stop yeah don't don't piss on us and tell us it's raining like we're quite aware that that your shape that your range is mainly light yeah and And, i mean you can see by the swatches it's a bit there's like one fair shade it's a bit scary yeah i don't know what they were thinking they Jeffrey did do a video on it, and he read out an email where um, it was from, I think, the founder of Beauty yeah. Blender, and she was saying how this range was actually mostly designed to focus around Latina women, and I think that's great, but I also look at, like, this first set of swatches, and I'm like, they all look very, very light. Yeah. And then these look very disjointed. The like medium plus and the deep range yeah i reckon look i think the problem here is that they've just gone ham on the light shades if they had that light that bottom row of light shades mixed with these two yeah swatches on this second page um i reckon people go awesome that's an even spread yeah that makes logical sense. You've got the deep ones, you've got the medium ones, you've got the light ones. Yeah. Um, but I think if you're going to expand on any particular shade, don't just just expand on the lights because it looks like you're definitely favouring a certain... It does. Demographic. Yes. Yeah. Um, but I do think overall from like lightest to darkest, um, there is a lot of variety here. It's just that the majority of the variety is in the lightest shades, which is yeah, a shame. It is. I agree. Um yeah look 
I don't know. It's not looking good, but uh, I guess we just have to wait and see. We have to wait and see if people to use them. Um, I am, like, I'm waiting for, like, Jackie and Alyssa to, I don't even know if they will. I don't know if they'll do a review on this, but I would like to see them do it because I feel like then you can get a perspective from someone who actually might be struggling with this. Yeah, I do agree. Language. Everyone, whether you're the fairest of the fair or the deepest of the deep, um, or you've got unusual undertones, I recommend actually going into store, swatching these, yeah. seeing if they work for you, because everyone is at the moment, as we're filming this, they're putting the cart before the horse. Yeah, I, I feel like people are as well. And I yeah. think I think it's... It's good to be, you know, aware of social issues like this and to speak up about them when there is a problem. But I also do think that um, you shouldn't throw the baby out with the bathwater on this one. Yeah. Go and, like, check out the range and then be like, all right, you guys don't have my shade. And that's yeah. not cool. But that's where I think people need to try it. Yes. Yeah. Swatch it. Take a photo um, with the shades that are similar to your colour you know, your skin yeah. tone, take a photo and send it to Beauty Blender and say, nothing suits me. Yeah. And I reckon they will be, they, I reckon their ass is like this. <laughs> yeah. I, and they're I working reckon, on new shades as we speak. I reckon you might be yeah. right about but that. But I think where people came down really hard first off, I think yeah. was unjustified just by the marketing images. And when you start looking at how they have tried to include a lot of different skin tones and different um, genders and different ages in their marketing, you know that they're not doing this to ignore any group of people. They are they trying. Are, they are really trying. So I feel like in these sort of situations, it's best to work with them rather yeah. than against, against them. them. I and agree. from all reports that I've seen, this is a really nice foundation. Mm. So it's probably worth persisting yeah and if you if there are gaps in the shade range let's work with them to to expand it and tell yeah. them where the gaps are if you're porcelain fair and the the lighter shade goes orange on you take a photo of you yeah. swatching in store or getting a sample and trying it and be like guys can you please formulate a shade lighter and i think that they will definitely listen yeah. they would have put so much money and effort into these it's their first foundation um and i think they want it to do well so i think yeah. it's worthwhile working with people rather than like fighting against it yeah. but these aren't cheap it's 30 mils or one fluid ounce 40 dollars 40 us dollars so uh yeah you want that's them to lot. be good you want that's, them to be good that's like pretty high end yeah it is it's gonna so, be like it'll be over 60 bucks when it comes to australia yeah like, yeah easy yeah but i think it looks like a beautiful foundation and jeffree star even praised like the wear time he and did, yeah uh the look of it and so i think it's definitely worth like i said worthwhile working with them rather than against them on this one and testing it in store and seeing seeing if it actually does work for you or not and reporting back um in a polite way yeah yeah all right, Kathleen and Colourpop. Mm -hmm. So they've created another collection. This one is releasing on the 26th of the 7th, so it should be out Yep. now. And this is a Zodiac collection. So we'll start with the Zodiac palette. This is a 12-pan eyeshadow palette. Uh, I don't know how people feel about those colours, but okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll get to it. Yeah, uh, we've got two supernova shadows. So they are the liquid eyeshadows in the shades Astrology and Consolation. That Astrology is gorgeous. It is it's really It's like a pretty. really yellow yeah. gold. Yeah, yeah. it's pretty. Uh, then we have the uh, Luxe, lip, lipsticks. Luxe lipsticks in What's Your Sign and Scorpio Moon. We've got two Super Shock highlighters mm -hmm. in On the Cusp and Fire. Both of these are gorgeous. They're very, very pretty. So on the cusp looks a little bit like um, flexitarian mm. and fire almost looks like it's got a peachy shift to it. Yeah. It's really pretty. These are, I'm excited for these. Do I need them? Hell no, but I'm excited for them. Um, when it comes to the eyeshadow palette, a lot of people are like, this is just the warm palette with the pop of blue. And I disagree with this because if you actually break it down and look at it, it is six shades of warm or five shades of warm and six or seven shades of cool. Mm. So this is not just a warm palette with a pop of blue. It's this, a split. It's a split. Yeah. It's an even split, which yeah. I think is cool. Um, 
you know, there's 12 shades, there's 12 different um, star signs that they've named it after. A lot of people who are Tauruses are upset at the Taurus for being poo brown. I am also a Taurus, but I like these shades, so I don't really care. Um, uh, people are confused why they have the in front of the star I, sign. I am confused yeah. by that too, yeah, so look, I am with you on that. We, we, yeah. You were there. Um, a lot of people would, expect, would prefer this to be an all rainbow palette. Um, and... To that I say, not all palettes should be rainbow. This yeah. is a nice wearable mix. I don't, I'm not obsessed with it, but I know a lot of people are looking, like I'm more interested in the lower half. Yeah, of, I'm more interested in the packaging. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. That's a fair <laughs> to point. To be perfectly honest. That's a fair point. Also, um, what Colourpop have been doing um, because of this collab is they're giving away, uh, or I don't know when it's closed. Hang on, I'll check. Okay, so it's already closed by the time you're watching this, but they're giving away all past Kathleen Light's ColourPop collaborations. And it's quite funny how you can tell that they clearly make ColourPop a lot of money because it goes from basic, basic packaging to fancier packaging to yeah. even fancier packaging. Yeah. Um, and yeah, they must have... Uh, that Dream Street only came out six months ago. It did, yeah. Or end of the year, December, November? I think it was, yeah. Yeah, like October, around that time. November, december -ish. So yeah, they're really clearly going she is a cash cow and we appreciate her so we're going to give it <laughs> yeah. extra fancy packaging yeah um but there you can see all the collections together if you ever bought anything in the past um, and want to see how they compare i do love the um like the packaging on yeah. this i i guess they call it like a pr kit yeah um and i assume you can buy this yeah they often so, do sell them yeah um i love the look of that it's kind of cool if it didn't have Kathleen Light's X Color Pop on it, I'd probably buy it. <laughs> yeah, I, I would. I'm like, I wouldn't know what to do with it. Yeah, I know. It's it's a kind of thing like you. No one needs it. Yeah. No one needs that packaging, yeah. but the want is there. But I do want to point out that she seems to um, everything. She's a smart one. She knows that a lot of people still like warms, mm. and some people are still are really interested in cool tones. Yeah. So the palette is half-half pretty much, almost split down right down the middle, middle, maybe more cooler than warm. There's a warm and a cool uh, supernova eyeshadow. There's a warm and a cool lipstick, and there's a warm and a cool highlighter. That, yeah. It's like she's totally gone, if you want it, you can't complain because we've yeah. given it to you. 50-50 split, <laughs> deal with safe. it. Yeah, we've gone safe, absolutely safe. Yeah. Bath and Body Works, we have seen the fall 2018 candles. Some of these are repeats and some of them are new and they are out now. All right, so there are a lot of candles here. We'll go through them. There's Pumpkin Peanut Brittle, Blueberry Maple Pancakes, Bourbon Pumpkin, Campfire Pumpkin, Pumpkin Coconut, Pumpkin Cupcake, Vanilla Pumpkin Marshmallow, Caramel Pumpkin Swirl, Sweet Cinnamon Pumpkin, Pumpkin Apple, Pumpkin Peanut... Oh, God. Dude, pumpkin I don't think penis. I said... <laughs> I don't think I've said pumpkin so much in my fucking life. It stopped making sense to me. Pumpkin Pecan Waffles, Pumpkin Patch, Caramel Apple, Autumn Woods, Autumn Day, Sweater Weather, Autumn, The Perfect Autumn, Flannel, Leaves, Marshmallow, Fireside, and Hot Cocoa and Cream. Ma gut. Interesting. What I find also interesting is that this is a US brand. Yeah. Um, yet they're calling things Autumn. Yeah, autumn actually, Day, Autumn Woods. Yeah, yeah. I think they're yeah. trying to sound fancy. Which, yeah, that's, uh, that's And there's a, just a candle called Autumn. Yep. Okay, we've seen the Leo Bite Beauty Amuse, Amuse Bouche Astrology release. Mm -hmm. It's now released. Um, and it is a lot of people are interested, a lot of people are not interested. It's definitely a split with this one. It's a very gold, sparkly lipstick. Um, and I think it looks cool, I think, but I can also understand that it's something. If you wanted something you could wear every day, this ain't it. It's not, yeah. It ain't I it. know. It's a bit of a shame, isn't it? Like, I want to see it swatched, though. I think it's going to be yeah. pretty swatched. Yeah. But um, I love it in the tube. And the way they've done this marketing photo, I think it looks like it's, it's I agree. special. Visually, it's pretty to look at. Yeah. Is it functional? Probs not. Oh, All right. I just found a photo of the Leo lipstick swatched. It doesn't look great. 
I think if you've got really tan skin, this might look pretty. Yeah. And I don't know. It's not for me. Uh, Luckily, I'm not a Leo and have zero access to these collections anyway. Yeah. yeah I'm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. Mm-hmm. 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 All right. So we've seen um, Clarisonic sneak peeking something new and amazing. Um, the future the, of... Yep. Yeah, what was it? The beauty fu- is coming. Well, Clarisonic. Woo-woo. Shit. Look out. Um, essentially what we have here is the Smart Profile Uplift. It's the first ever two-in-one device offering cleansing and affirming massage head to uplift 15 signs of aging on the face, neck, and decollete. I'm actually... <laughs> look, I'm getting to the stage in my life where I'm like, hmm, this is not looking too bad. <laughs> um, but it, yeah, it's, 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 in, it's, it's an interesting. interesting thing. So I'm assuming it's just a new head. Yeah. Oh, um, no, it looks like it's a new body as well. Yeah, it's definitely got a new handle. Yeah, actually, you're right. Yeah, so it'd have different settings. Yeah. Um, and so pretty much, uh, it's good though, because I use a Clarisonic. I like Clarisonic. Um, and if you are concerned about firming and tightening skin, this is an easy switch, which I think is a good idea. It'd be very expensive. It very would be expensive. very, very expensive. Um, one thing I've learned about... It looks like you can put... Yeah. You can put... You can put the normal heads on. Yeah. But then that smart profile uplift is the... Yeah. Is it extra head for, yeah. for the contraption. Um, That's me. Oh, look at it. It's so <laughs> cute. It's so That's cute. That's what I look like on my forehead when I don't have Botox. Oh, <laughs> beautiful little roly-poly. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, I think this is interesting. I think this is a good direction for Clarisonic. I think this is probably a smarter move than their uh, foundation brush heads. Like, those are that's a cool concept, but yeah. um, to bring your... Like, unless you do your makeup in your bathroom and happy to switch heads all the time, um, I thought that was asking a little bit. Um, yeah. But I do think that this... A lot of people will go for it. But just inherently with um, anti-aging products um, or firming tightening products they're very expensive because they target people who generally have a bit of money and and are willing to throw money at making themselves look a bit more like this yeah so um but it's interesting coming on the 8th of august i would like to try it but i wouldn't spend money on it because i feel like it would be quite expensive it will be and i it's not something i'm really willing to take a risk on Mm -hmm. all right we have a little um expansion from clinique So they are adding 26 shades to their even better foundation range. This brings the total shade count up to 56. Yeah, that might be the biggest shade range I'm aware of. It's definitely the biggest that I'm aware of. Yeah. I know Jouet has 50. Did No, Colourpop's got 42. Yeah. Yeah, I think 56. 56 is the biggest I've heard of. Can we just can we just take a moment to accept the fact that Clinique, a brand that so many people just ignore. push aside and ignore, may have just taken out the contender for the biggest foundation range and just, they shat just on everyone. Snuck into that. They were just like Oh, we see what's happening in the beauty world. Yeah, we can do that too. We can, we can do, good. we can do good things here too. Hopefully, like we haven't seen the shade range yet. Hopefully, it's good, um, and we will keep you updated. We will. Mm. Estee Lauder has some new illuminate, illuminating powder jellies. Yeah. What? Um, That's that sort of Too Faced, yeah. um, diamondy formula. Yeah. It's that kind of moussey, weird texture. Yeah, it's kind of like um, it's almost like a cream to powder, but it's not. Like it's, yeah, it's it's different. It's weird. Yeah, but yeah. Anyway, looks like there's three shades. So they've got Heat Wave, which is the repromote, Solar Crush, and Mirage. Yeah. So this is part of their Bronze Goddess collection. They bring this out every summer. Yeah. So um, yeah, this is a sneak peek for their summer collection that'll be coming out. Later this year, and they pretty much re-promote Heat Wave every single fucking year. <laughs> they do. But, they do. You know, they like yeah. to do that. Yeah. This is looking a little bit Becca. It is a little oh, bit. Oh, but they had this also, last year, didn't they? It's very retro. Yeah, yeah they, they had is, this sort of packaging last yeah. year. Um, I love the inside. Yeah, the inside's They're beautiful. They're so pretty. They look really good. Oh, Tati. What? 
Beauty, mm. what are you up to? Halo Beauty, we have a trademark registration here called Kiwi RX. Uh, biological and chemical preparations used in the manufacture of cosmetics, beverages, food products, and food supplements. That's yeah. all we've got. Yeah. So, um, but, but they trademarked um, an ingredient in their last thing. So yes. this would not be the product. This would be an ingredient in a product they're formulating. I agree. Yeah, yeah so I think I think you're right. Yeah. Kiwi RX mm-hmm. coming coming soon. Huda Beauty. Yeah. Potential new palette. Potentially. Potentially. One thing we do know that they have released is the Matte Perfection. They didn't call it a primer. Oh. They called it. Wait for it. They called it the Matte Perfection Pre Makeup Base. Bougie term for primer. Oh god, no um, way. Yeah, but it's now available at Huda Beauty. Um, and it is a lightweight, oil-free primer. Uh, it's supposed to control and reduce shine and uh, prevent your makeup from melting off, um, which is good because they've got a primer, and we saw that this was coming. Yeah. Um, so this is an update, but it's thirty-two dollars. And compared to their last primer, which is the Complexion Perfection Pre Makeup Base, mm-hmm. that one has rosehip oil and dimethicone, so it's more to smooth, um, moisturize. Whereas this one has plant extracts and mineral powders, and it's designed to mattify and hold. So mm-hmm. uh, yeah, one's creamy, one's sort of more of a liquidy sort of formula. Complexion Perfection one has a pump. This one has more of a very small, fine. Uh, squeezy sort of tube uh, so you can you know control how much you put on but that's out excellent all right juvia's place we have the new afrique palette yep here so this is a 12 pan eyeshadow palette We've got colors and warm sort of browns yeah mm. but it looks like i think you look at it and you i think in isolation and if this was in just like a, I don't know, black packaging, you go, yeah, whatever. But I think the the theme of it is gorgeous. I yeah. think the um, model and the marketing images are gorgeous. Stunning. I um, know. I love the marketing images. So that palette is already available on the Juvia's Place website for $20. There's also a pack. So you can get the eyeshadow palette, um, the Afric uh, matte liquid lipstick, which is a bright red with uh, limited edition packaging or collection packaging the Serafina blush and the Bella blush and that was $45 but it's currently sold out so those are available already but what's the news they're coming to Ulta yeah so Ulta in stores 500 stores Mm -hmm. in September and Ulta online in July yep 22nd so it's already it's up it's up it's It's out you can get it at Ulta yeah Kat Von D, uh, Alchemist Mini Singles. Fuck, man, this is going back a while. Yeah. Hands up if you forgot about that. Sort of, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, just, I don't know. It, we We've heard about it. it and then never heard about it again, but apparently now it's out. Yeah, they haven't announced when it's actually officially releasing in like Sephora and the Kat Von D website, but a few people have spotted it in some like other store. Yeah. So people have spotted it spotted it in Beauty on the Fly for fourteen dollars, like hidden away in a basket. Um. So we actually got some photos. Uh, from that yeah but also we've seen photos um from luster Lux. she got one as well and compared it to the bigger version and we can see here that you can see that the alchemist palette they're like um it's just a shimmery normal sort of formula highlighter formula but this one is actually um a really sparkly formula so it's, yeah the color is called aquamarine and it's a teal but instead of it being like that smooth formula it's like a chunky glitter formula so a few people are like why the fuck do we want that um who knows yeah but if you want it you can buy it for 14 yeah. bucks from that random shop you, you or can. wait for kat von d to announce when it's coming yeah. out hooray hooray all right kkw fragrance so we've got three new fragrances we've got vibes which is uh... well this one they're all ki- uh kimoji cult, uh things okay but, so but they're that... with within the kimoji like range line yeah of, so these are yeah. kimoji vibes kimoji peach kimoji cherry. cherry yeah um and they're already out they're 45 dollars each the scents sound pretty cool they do so vibes has bergamot 
apple blossom, peony, jasmine. Yep. Sounds great. Mm -hmm. um, the peach one has juicy nectarine. Oh, my God. Yeah. Yum. Um, white jasmine petals, peach blossom, sandalwood, and creamy vanilla. That sounds fucking good, too. Mm -hmm. And the cherry one seems to have, oh, my God, juicy red cherry, luscious raspberry, strawberry, and cherry blossom and gardenia petals. Yeah, so these sound really interesting. Fruity florals. Yeah, yeah. so um, a lot of people are confused by the packaging. Um, look, it doesn't bother me too much, but yeah. I, look, mm. I'm going to say this. I have been very confused about her perfume bottle packaging, but in this case, I'm I don't confused. hate it. <laughs> I'm less confused. Yeah, I don't hate it. Like yeah. the body ones, I was like, yeah, I think the monument to her body, <laughs> yeah. is more weird. Like than I, don't, having... I don't want, I don't want that in my home. Yeah, but these, I don't mind. Yeah, I don't mind it. I, I don't really understand the vibes one. Yeah, but they're all just from whatever. Her yeah, emoji her, app. Yeah, um, but I thought the the way they advertise this was really strange. They made her like. What have yeah. they done? It's warped, isn't it? Oh my it? god! I want to eat. I want to eat these lollies. Yeah, I think they sent them out in PR packs with all these lollies. I want that. Just send me the um, lollies. But yeah, oh my god, she's actually got a camel toe. I know what's happening. Oh what? god, I find this really bizarre. So these, yeah. Oh, okay. Second life, fucking. Yeah. Second life weird yes. avatars. Yes. I don't get it. Yeah. But anyway, if that's what you want, Kim, go for it. Um, but along with that, KK Beauty has announced a new palette. Mm -hmm. So this is, when you're watching this, it's already released or will be releasing in a few hours. So this was coming to the pop-up store on the 25th of July and online 27th of July. Now we're a little bit ahead, so... It'll probably be up tomorrow. But this is the classic palette. So it's the same sort of format as the one that she did with Mario. Um, it's seven matte shadows and they're supposed to be a creamy, powdery finish um, in an array of universal neutrals and three metallic shadows that glide on effortless, effortless, effortlessly. Oh, my God. You can tell I'm getting sick. Yeah. Um, and just can't say words um but it's supposed to provide a saturated pearlized finish so you know a lot of people are thinking this is boring but at the same time if you really like her formula of eyeshadows it is what it is yeah it's 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 well balanced palette it's very wearable it's very wearable so yeah. i don't hate it i'm not gonna buy it though so no. That's, no. that's that um kale polish doing yep. a zodiac collection and she hooked up with a bunch of influencers. Yep. So you might be thinking, didn't we just talk about yeah. Kathleen Lights and Zodiac? Yeah. I think we she's did. trying to theme it over the whole collab that she's doing and her nail polish next release. Mm -hmm. um, so she's hitting up the um, Zodiac thing. Yeah. Double dipping with it. Yes. So, um, yeah, a bunch of influencers are representing different um, Zodiac signs with different nail polishes that they're wearing, clearly. Um, this one here, I don't know what sign that is, but I'm feeling it must be the zodiac sign of the 80s female. Yeah. <laughs> She's looking very, I'm ready to go out dancing. Yeah, she does. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, so we'll keep you updated when we know the colours. Mm -hmm. All right, then from one Kardashian sister to a Jenna sister, yeah. um, Kylie is re-releasing the nice palette from the holiday collection, but in all black packaging. Mm. Now, I think this is going to be either permanent or semi-permanent, I don't know, but they must have had people asking for this to come back, so they're bringing it back, um, and it was stocked on the 24th of uh, July. So the same day as the Chris restock as well. So yeah. if you wanted her Mother's Day collection, that's restocked as well. Lipstick Queen, we have uh, Method in the Madness lipsticks. So these look to be um, marbled yeah. lipsticks. And they look like they have a bit of a pearl to them as well. Yeah. So we've got Nonsense Nude, Reckless Red, Crazed Greyish, what? Peculiar Pink, <laughs> Manic Mauve, Berserk Berry, Chaotic Cocoa, $25 each, and they are available now at Ulta. Awesome. 
This is like copying um, Ilan Masca that did it a little bit more in a more interesting way. Yep. But, yeah, it is what it is. Mm-hmm. Okay, there's just an update on this uh, L'Oreal and Camilla Cabello collection. So the Havana collection that we spoke about the other week. So it is now available at Ulta Beauty. But I wanted to mention these because we've got swatches. Mm-hmm. So we've got swatches of the eyeliner, the three brow products that we spoke about, um, the two sunlit bronzers, which are creams. I mm-hmm. wanted to mention this because that deeper one's gorgeous. Yeah, they are It's pretty. such a beautiful shade of bronze. Like, if you like to wear shimmery bronze stuff over your body, mm-hmm. this is one that looks really cool. Uh, we've also seen the eyeshadows, which surprisingly, for L'Oreal... They look really pretty. They look really they? pretty. Yeah. Now, I do know that L'Oreal have some really nice single eyeshadows, and I feel like that they've stepped up and they've delivered that formula to this collection, which yeah. is nice to see. So you have, like, a cool-toned lilac colour, a more champagne colour, a beautiful dark brown bronze and then like an olivey sort of green mm-hmm. they're all really pretty and then you've got lip glosses two sort of creamy finishes i think two no three creamy finishes and one shimmer so there you go that collection is out in the u.s mac we've got a, a bunch, bunch of stuff, stuff. yep updates and jazz uh so we've got dazzle highlighters two shades there's a pink and a gold uh then we have the Hyper Real Foundation. Yeah. And this, uh, there's four shades here, um, but this looks to be like some sort of illuminating drop. Yeah. so Maybe not a foundation. Yeah. So this was actually a re-release. I think this was out years and years, yeah. and, like over 10 years ago in the MAC collection, but they're re-releasing it. Um, and this is all just mentioned together because they're all releasing on the same day. Yes. So the date that they're all releasing is from the 2nd of August. Yeah. Now, I have heard some things are online exclusive, some things are UK only. Like, I don't know. You'll have to check with your local Mac store because yeah. they all do things differently. But um, all of these things that we're talking about will be releasing from the 2nd, 2nd of August. Of August. Yeah. Uh, we've also got the Dazzle Shadow Liquid Eyeshadows. Yeah, I think they're called da- Dazzle Shadow Liquid. Yeah. It feels like it should have a, another word it after does. it. Dazzle Shadow Liquid. Good. Yeah. Great. But these are sort of like the Steel and Magnificent Metals. Um, and all of these are very, very wearable shades. They're yeah. not um, greens and reds. And they're all different champagnes, um, browns, bronzers. So there you go. And they look like they're little mini things. They do. They look small, which yeah. is not, not always a bad thing. Yeah. Uh, they've also got the Iridescent Loose Powder. In silver dusk and golden bronze. Yeah. So These are like a re-release. Re-releases, yeah. yeah. And the last thing is the Grand Illusion Glossy Liquid Lip Colour. Mm. So this is a shade expansion. So you can see that they're just injecting a lot of pinks and purples and bronzes. Yeah. And nudes. Nine um, new shades. So nine new shades, once again, launching from um, 2nd of August. Great. Okay, it's just editing Kat here. I'm going to be tuning in a couple of times this episode for a few updates since we don't have an updates episode going up on Monday, but I've got an update for the MAC collection that we we're just talking about. It actually looks like it's going to be two different collections. Um, one we know all about and another one we don't know too much about. So uh, they've come out to say that majority of the stuff we just talked about was from the supreme beam collection so that's releasing like i said 2nd of august um you can find it in stores and at counters at nordstrom and macy's in the u.s it is going to have the four shades of hyper real foundation so gold fx which is a pale yellow gold violet fx which is a light pinky violet pearl Rose Gold FX, which is a rose gold pearl. Bronze FX, which is a golden bronze pearl. Then there's also going to be the two iridescent loose powders in golden bronze and silver dusk. There's actually going to be 10 new shades of the Grand Illusion Glossy Liquid Lip Color. So they've all got different colors, different finishes. They're all iridescent or holographic. And there's also two brushes in that collection. So the 182S Small Buffer Brush and the 188S Small Duo Fiber Face Brush. So it looks like there will be a separate collection launching on the same day that has the Dazzle Highlighters and also Dazzle Shadow Liquids. But we don't know too much about them yet, so we'll keep you updated. Ah, 
Makeup forever. So we saw quite a while ago that they were going to release the matte velvet foundations, mm -hmm. uh, matte velvet skin, and they're coming. Like, while we speak, they're not quite here, but they're meant to be releasing tomorrow. Oh. So information. will be on the screen. <laughs> For you. For you. Okay, brand new information from Pat McGrath. They are adding, uh, is it 10 new shades? Yes, 10 of, new shades. Yeah, matte trance lipsticks. So these are just extending the range. We've got a divine beige nude, a coral rose, a bronzed rose, peach sienna, fiery orange red, mag uh, magnetic magenta. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, sure. I wonder if it actually sticks to the fridge. Um, ultimate classic red, plum berry, mulberry pink, um, and blooded crimson. Oh, ooh. So oh. those are all releasing um, on the twenty seventh of. July, so mm -hmm. once again in a few hours, or you could have signed up for pre release. Um, so they are $38 each, but there are also three kits that they're going to be releasing. So uh, you can get uh, Skin Show, which is the nudes pack, you get three shades for $95, Color Blitz, which is Brights for $95, and then uh, Vicious Venom, which is a Darks for $95, so three shades in each pack. Um, so yeah, available. In a few hours. Very, very soon. If you're very excited, you should have signed up and got pre- That's correct. Pre-release. Four new palettes from the uh, Maybelline City Mini range. We've got High Rise Sunset, Brooklyn Nudes, Skyscape Dusk, and Blushed Avenue. I don't mind these. Yeah? I don't, like, I'm, I'm not going to buy them. I've no. got so much makeup that I don't fucking need them. But at the same time, I started wearing eyeshadow by buying these types of products. Yeah. And I can look at them and go, they're all really easy, wearable shades. Well, the colors that they've got in the palettes are good representations of, like, what people might be liking to buy. We've got yep. purples, we've got pinky plum shades, we've got warm nudes, cool nudes. Fucking... Yep. It what suits. more can you ask and, for? And if you are the average consumer, you could buy these and they take you throughout the whole year. Oh my God, yeah. So I, look, for me, I don't care, but I've heard decent things about these palettes. Okay, yeah. Um, probably not amazing things, but better than previous things. Okay, um, that's good. And yeah, for the makeup aficionado, avoid. But yeah. for the average Joe, this isn't not, these not are cohesive palettes. All right, we've got uh, an update on the Morphe and Jaclyn Hill Vault. So it's officially relaunching or launching on the 14th of August. Now, this is raising a lot of questions <laughs> about what they've actually done to the vault to make it different because it was technically supposed to release, I think, the 26th of June from memory. Yeah. End of June. And so if it's only been like six weeks, there's not much you can do to the formula to fix it, if that makes sense. Mm. But a lot of people are saying that they that there was actually okay if they have actually fixed it, yeah. fingers crossed they have because it was a decent looking pack. Yeah. Um. They people are saying that it was down to batch inconsistencies, right? And they just went through to remove the wrong like the bad batches, right? And six weeks makes sense to do that, yeah. And then make more to fill up that yeah that gap. But if they actually had to reformulate and fix the problem, it's not enough time to do it. So, yeah, yeah let's just say that it was batch inconsistencies and they've dealt with it. Give it, give them the benefit, benefit of the doubt. Benefit of the doubt. Yeah. But if people start buying them and they um, are getting having problematic shades, I, I don't think they did enough. No. But I also, yeah. I also want to say that um, I've noticed a lot of people, including myself, um, because of this bit of a delay, mm. do you know the momentum that you build with all the hype? And you're like, oh, I want to buy People it, I want to buy it. Now. Then all of a sudden you're like, oh, I've moved on. Yeah. And that's what they're going to find, that they're going to have a drop in potential sales because uh, a lot of people just don't care anymore. Yeah. Oh, well, that'll oh, be well. interesting. I am looking forward to seeing, like, reviews of new palettes. Yeah, I agree. Nikki, Nikki, Nikki. What has Nikki been up to? Do you know what oh, she's up to? Oh, I have no idea. Okay, I know what she's been up to. Good. Okay, Nikki tutorials. Um, we did see a little while ago that she's doing a second 
She wrapped up a photo shoot for a second collab with Ofra. Ofra. Yes. Now, she did a video where she was um, having her fans pick her makeup. And she had as an option for highlighters, she did um, give a few, I think four options for each type of makeup. Yeah. And the first option she gave from highlighter for a highlighter was the Ofra Glazed Donut, which was from her last release yeah. with them. Or something that she's working on. Uh And, of course, people picked something that she's working on. Now, it is a purpley-blue highlighter. Yeah. So, we've got blue pearl with lilac and purple duochrome white base. Yeah, that was my rough notes, but that's what she was saying. So, it's blue pearl. It's got purple and and lilac and purple duochrome, and it looks white. Yeah. So, it's a white base. So... People were thinking it's going to be Ofra because when they just saw the screenshots, she's doing her makeup with the compact. I am going to say, conspiracy hat, even though she didn't mention what brand it is, I'm just going to say 99% sure it's with Ofra. Now, yeah. the reason being is because we know she's doing another collection with them. Yeah. The whole video, she's promoting their new packaging. Yes. Even if yeah. she's not using it from that pan, she's still promoting them. Yeah. And then next to her something that she's working on she's promoting offer again yeah so i feel like this is a sneaky offer video yeah if that makes sense um when it comes to the highlighter i think this is done i have about five six seven of these highlighters in my collection and i haven't reached for them in a year because blue highlighting is no longer i'm wearing a green one today but Green's good. It's a little bit you more know, natural. Yeah, but, but... You know, I think it's pretty. I, I think, like, for me personally, I don't wear my coloured highlighters very much anymore. I do still like them. I decided to wear one today. Mm-hmm. But I wouldn't buy any more. No, because like, I've got them. It would be a cold fucking day in hell before I bought another coloured highlighter. I agree. Because I've got too many and... Who the fuck needs more? I, I certainly don't. I agree. Um, and also, I wanted to point out that even though when it catches a light with her rainbow eyes, it looks really pretty. It does look pretty. Um, when you look at her from front on, it makes her makeup look ashy. It does. Like all, that, And that's a white. That's, that's the, the white that's base. That's the base. Yeah. So, you know, she went from doing, you know, a peach blush and all this kind of stuff. And then all of a sudden you just see like what looks like powder dots on yeah, her face. I know. And that's why I always like I love the idea of a blue highlighter. But most of them that I used, like 90% of them that I used, yeah, had this effect and don't. I just didn't like it. Yeah. And that's why I stopped using them. Not because I don't want to flash blue because I totally do. Yeah. It's just that to flash blue, you have to look like you got powdery, little powdery spots on your face. And that that's ain't, ain't flattering. And she, no. even with her own formula, she couldn't, I don't think she could make that work. No. Which no. is a shame. It's, but yeah. I think it's off Look, people will buy it because it's Nikki. Of course. And that's, I totally respect that. Mm-hmm. But it's not what I would have expected from her. Mm-hmm. Um, Especially not in 2018. No, no, it's not what I would have expected. Mm. So, yeah. Paul and Joe. Yeah, we've seen a few things from them. Dead. I know. This is absolutely. They've stunning. made it for us, I think. Yeah. Yeah, they have. So we'll start with the eyeshadows. Uh, they've got dramatic eye color that adorns your eyes with the vivid hues of the moon. Yeah, like these aren't for me, but I like the detail. I so like that it looks like a crescent moon or yeah. a moon that's in what's the term? Where it's uh, just got a little bit of black. Oh, like a. Um, you know yeah, know what we're talking yeah. about. It's also got little star details, so it clearly is very true to its moon inspiration. It's very pretty. It's pretty. Yeah, yeah. visually, I like it. Mm-hmm. Um, and then we have the lipsticks. Mm-hmm. My freaking goodness. So there's only three in the range. Yeah, That's three correct. lipsticks. Yeah, three lipsticks, and they've got mm, far out. The caps are cats. Yeah, they're so cute. And they've also got a little cat on the bullet as well. So there's three shades, like a nude, a deeper nude, and a red. And these, once again, launching 1st of August. It's their autumn collection. These are so cute. They're so cute. I think you can also buy the shades in different packaging. Right, okay. Because they do have them in different packaging. Actually, I think Paul and Joe do have a system where you can buy, like, the... 
You can buy the sort of tube, the tube and the the bullet. And then you can buy casing for it. Yeah. So I think, I, there's, oh, like, I think they were showing it in alter, alternate packaging. Yes. So along with the lipsticks, they also have a stick highlighter. So once again, this is in lipstick case N001, which is the cat design. Yeah. But you can buy a stick highlighter to put in it. And the stick highlighter has a little cat with a hat and a bow tie. Fuck. I know. I just like, want this because just... I'm a crazy cat lady. Just take my money. So, so So cute. cute. I love it. I think destroy the low buy. Get out my way. Yeah, we need to figure out how to where to buy this online. I know. I don't I know like I think Beauty Bay you can get some Paul and Joe, but it's one of those brands that's like really slow and we get the dregs. Yeah. I need to find a better a better way. It's super cute though. It's gotta be a better way. I agree. Uh Ray Morris. My, not my one true love, but a very, a very, very important figure in my life mm-hmm. is bringing out their first makeup product. I'm so excited. I know. So this is the Invisible Mattifier, Mattifier Universal Anti-Shine Powder. <gasps> I'll take it, Ray. I'm keen. I'm keen. Yeah, I'm being, keen too. I want to know more. Yeah, not, stay tuned. Not only does this really suit our skin, yeah. but Ray Morris is such a talented makeup artist. I love her. If you're not aware as well, Chloe Morello used to work for Ray. Mm-hmm. Um, so Ray Morris is like one of the leading makeup artists in Australia. Absolutely. She's got an amazing brush range. Everything she's done is like spot on. Yeah. She's got great books. Um, yeah, she likes to teach people. She does master classes. She's yep. so good. She's great. So anything that she's bringing out, I trust that the quality will be good. I mm-hmm. also trust that the price will probably be high, <laughs> but <laughs> yeah. it'll be worth the money if you yeah. if you're interested in the product. I agree. Um, and yep. this is a product I'm interested in. So go Ray. Yep, go Ray. Not Do go more. away. Go Ray. Go Ray. Go Ray. <laughs> Yay. Um, all right, is this the last thing? Oh, my God, it is. Oh, okay. So we've seen a sneaky peeky for Urban Decay. They're bringing out a new aphrodisiac eyeshadow palette. Mm-hmm. Now, a few people have got this, but I feel like they were given it from, like, Ulta or the brand they or the shop that they work, work at. For? I feel and like staff were given this. Maybe they shouldn't have been talking about it. Well, I don't know if they shouldn't have or if – who knows? Who knows? I don't know the terms of giving it, but it's been popping up on Instagram. So this is the aphrodisiac palette. I tried to look for trademarks. I didn't trademark the term. Oh. Yeah, interesting. Okay. Um, But, yeah, maybe it's just a one-off. I don't really care. Yeah. Um, Or maybe, yeah, who cares? Um, But this is like a little travel palette similar to their Naked Heat Petite. So it's similar to like the, uh, what was it, Naked, what were they called? Naked Basic palettes. Oh, yeah, yeah. But this the packaging looks more like the Naked Heat Petite. Yeah. Um, but this is not all matte with one, like, satin, yeah. like the past palettes. Yeah. This is two – no, three mattes and three shimmers. Good. It's a nice balance. There's a cream. There's, like, a warm transition shade, uh, a dark, dark brown, brown matte, and then you've got a champagne, you've got a berry, you've got a bronze. Now, this, you know – a lot of people will have this and be like, this is, I don't need it. But no. a lot of people will look at this and this is, they're like, this is everything I need in a travel palette. I think when I look at it in terms of travel palette, I'm yep. like, great. Yep. When I look at it in terms of something that I will use in my day-to-day life when I've got access to my over 100 eyeshadow palettes, I'm like, yep. no. please, no. Yeah. Don't take up more space that I don't have. So, yeah, it depends what you want this for. But this also, for me, looks like a mix between a Naked Heat and the Back Talk palette. I agree. So, look, it's got a... That's what I thought, I think it's got a spot in the in the industry mm-hmm. um but it's it's mainly for people that want a decent little compact palette they can travel with and they do like a 50 50 split of shimmers and mattes which is what i like so yeah. i don't hate it i won't buy it but i don't yeah. hate it and if i was going traveling and for some reason wanted a new palette i it would, would go be swatch bare it. minerals that's true yeah it's yeah. already yeah. it's already yeah it's already happened so well, it's almost the case so. yeah so <laughs> sorry oh well well, when we Look, have used when we bought all the bare mineral ones and we want a new one, <laughs> maybe, maybe, maybe I'll go swatch it. Yeah, maybe, yeah. maybe. Yeah. All right.
All right, last update before we finish off the episode. Um, it's just been announced that Too Faced and Dry Bar have got together to create a hairspray for Too Faced's 20th anniversary. Now, this is supposed to be the first of many collaborations, so we'll be seeing a lot coming um, from Too Faced with other brands um, over probably the next year or at least a few months. This is launching the 1st of August and it's called the Glitter Spritzer. So it's a sparkle spray. It's just a fancy name for a hairspray that's infused with gold and silver glitter. So if you're interested in this, go get it. Um, I'm sure it's just going to be available on the Too Faced web- website, possibly the Dry Bar website. I don't know. I'm not familiar with the Dry Bar website, but um, yeah, if you like some fun hairspray, check that one out. Also launching on the 1st of August is a new product from Fenty Beauty. This is a brand new shade of a kilowatt highlighter. Now it's a limited edition shade. It's called Diamond Ball Out. And uh, it sort of looks like a really gray silver version of tr- of uh, Trophy Wife. So if you really like that heavily metallic, sparkly uh, highlighter, that's quite probably not everyone's cup of tea. Uh, this one is launching on the first, and it's exclusive to Fenty Beauty. Now all the proceeds of this are going to be going to a foundation. So it's going to be going to the Clara Lionel Foundation, which was founded by Rihanna in 2012. So uh, yeah, if you want to check that one out and you've been gagging for some silver gray glitter highlighter um, with limited edition design on the pan, then Fenty have your back. All right. If you saw last uh, Beauty News episode and you were wondering why we had a candle emoji and we're like, that's so appropriate. And then there's nothing about candles. Uh, it's because we had to scrap talking about a we particular re- release, but we could talk about it now. Again, let's um, do it. We think we could talk about it now. If not, sorry, we will. Oh my um, God. <laughs> anyway, this is from Glass House. And yep. um, if you are, if you've been with our channel for a long time, way before we started Beauty News, I'd been buying Glass House candles for Years. years and years and years, years. Um, because in my opinion I've tried Bath and Body Works I've tried blah 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 I've tried na 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 blah 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 everything yeah. this is the only brand that triple scented like has a great scent throw throughout like, my whole room this can fill a large house a house it can yeah. fill a house anyway we were super excited that we got to see the sneak peek of the new candle mm-hmm What's it called? It's called Melbourne. Melbourne. Uh, if you didn't hear that probably, Melbourne, oh, yeah. Melbourne, which is the city that we live in. <laughs> no, it's Melbourne. Melbourne. Um, so we were very excited because it is an Australian brand, but I think they're based in Sydney, but yeah. they made a candle for Melbourne and we love, like they do a lot of destination candles and we thought this one was really, really cool. Now um, with this one, it's pretty cool. The packaging is right. You can see the box it's sort of like, graf- not graffiti up, but it's very like graphic. Yeah. Um, and we do have a lot of graffiti in Melbourne, so we it do. sort of works yes. well. Um, also, it's got a design that says 3000, which is our postcode. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, the- Melbourne CBD postcode. CBD, yeah. yeah but the 3000s yeah. are, are the like the Victorian yes. postcodes. Yeah. Um, so the packaging, I don't know if you can see it properly, but it's black with this sort of dark bluey shimmery pewter sort of thing and you can see the design now um this scent is crazy it's coffee flower with like vanilla yeah um and so it's got a very it's vanilla-y but it's Mm -hmm. almost got like a sensual yeah smell it so good every time so good i love it it's got like a sensual floral but it's almost like a masculine sweet floral yeah so, yeah, I, I kind of think if you go down a little laneway in Melbourne, which is very typical of Melbourne, and you go to a bar and it's just like some sexy man with like a yes. espresso martini. Yeah, is, wearing and, a nice suit. That's, that's pretty much what like. that is. Yep. So this is really cool. What has sort of delayed the release of this, which is why we couldn't talk about it, was that it was going to have black wax, which is phenomenal. Mm-hmm. But because... Um, they, when this shines through, you'll see a photo on the screen. When you light the candle and it shines through the glass, you can see the design. The white wax worked better with that. And also the black coloring, I think, um, changed the scent a little yeah. bit. So they decided to scrap the black wax and launch it in a white wax version. So, um, yeah, the delay, the 
launch of this was slightly delayed, but you should be able to get it at David Jones. Mm -hmm. um, and it is glorious. It's pretty much Melbourne in a candle. And it's got a little tram. It does. On the little tag. tram design, which yeah. is great. I love it. Everything Gorgeous about it, jar. I love it. This was such a smart yeah. move. I love, love, love that candle. Yeah, and I'm going to keep the black one as like... Oh, absolutely. As a, as a like fancy limited edition one absolutely. and then i'm going to buy a white one and yes just burn that. yeah yeah and it's such a nice like so cold at the moment this is a beautiful sort of like scent for cold weather it's perfect it's perfect it's... melbourne winter scent yeah it is because it's kind of it's like fresh and uplifting but it's also warm and spicy and cozy yeah, at the same time like it's not overpowering in either way it's it's good yeah. perfect for winter yeah, but because this was delayed, they decided to release another candle earlier. They did. And this one's pretty cool too. I can't wait to smell this one. Um, it is uh, Peter Alexander exclusive, but you can also buy it on the Glass House website. So, yes. So um, you can't get it in David Jones and other like gift stores that often sell Glass House candles. It's called Grandma's Punch. And this one is like, it's a fruit cocktail basically. So it's got pomegranate, pineapple, strawberries, apple blossom and vanilla the jar is it's a so metallic cool. teal yeah it's stunning and it's got like those pop art dots yeah it's so cool i love it yeah it's really really cool and with these i love to save the jars i've actually mm -hmm. got jars dotted around everywhere i just put like brushes and stuff in so them do I. or like it's... sponges and stuff yeah. or i put my earrings in one so mm -hmm. i especially keep the limited edition jars because you yeah, they're, gl they're glass and they're yeah. easy to clean so yeah. Um, yeah, two cool new releases from Glass House, House Candles. We love them. We love them. So, yeah, that was the emoji for last week that made more sense than this. <laughs> In context, but, you yeah, know, whatever. Shit happens. Look, you get it now. Yeah, you, yeah. You're welcome. Emoji of the week. <laughs> candles. <laughs> we should just be emoji of the week. Boot. No, no. That's wrong. appropriate. That's appropriate. <laughs> Work out what we cut out there. <laughs> All right, so emoji just because is boot. Yep. Give him the boot. Mm -hmm. um, and who's our VIP of the week? Love, joy, peaches. What a nice little name. I know. So sweet. Isn't that sweet? Yeah. So this episode is dedicated to you. Yes. Uh, specifically, love you. Thank you so much for your support. Um, and thank you everyone else to, who watched, yes. who lurked, who subscribed, who Share. contributes Who, to the news yes we love you all you are all yes. very great you and make very the special. beauty news wheel go round you do round. you do which yeah. is great because we've had a long week <laughs> and i'm starting to suffer for it yeah but, um yeah yeah thank you very much and we'll see you guys in the next one bye bye